Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 15 has been out for three months or so to the public, but for those of us that are developers or public beta testers, it's been out for over six months. And so every year around this time of the year, I go over the changes we'd like to see in the upcoming version of iOS, which in this case would be iOS 16 if Apple continues with its naming conventions. Now, the other day I asked what you wanted to see in a YouTube community post, you'll see here, I said, what are some features you would like to see come to iOS 16 or future versions of iOS. I posted this over a day ago at this point and based off your comments and things I wanted to see as well, I've compiled a list of things we can hope for and maybe expect in the upcoming version of iOS 16. Now, the first thing is the supported devices. The other day I mentioned this in a separate video where Apple is said to, to drop support for iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE first generation. Just like they did with the 6S Plus or the 6 Plus here, Apple is expected to drop support for those devices. However, the information last year that said the same thing was incorrect. And so this year, we may see them continue to support those devices, but it really depends on what they do with the OS in general, whether they do a complete redesign or something else. And that's going to depend on what you need based off the CPU and maybe RAM available and things like that. Now, the first thing many of you wanted to see, like I mentioned already, is a redesign. Personally, I've never been a fan of the flat icons, and I would like to see a redesign with some new icons, maybe similar to that of what we had with macOS Big Sur and now with Monterey. I would like to see some consistency across all those devices, from the iPhone to the iPad and Mac as well. So that's something a lot of people want to see, and maybe a redesign of things like settings and other things as well, where settings could be alphabetical instead of just sort of being random or grouped into different things, it would definitely be a nice change to see some of this redone to be a little bit more easily accessible to just easily finding things as they add more and more to iOS. Also, many people want the ability to move apps around the screen as well with the redesign. So not just maybe put them here and have everything go top to bottom, left to right, but also have the ability to have gaps in them or leave spaces all throughout. That's something many people have wanted for years and I think something that Apple should probably fix at this point. Yes, they like it clean and organized, but we should be able to arrange it the way we want with a redesign to that and maybe some icons and more. Something I hear from people all the time is they want the ability to add the percentage next to the battery on Face ID phones. And so I've drawn up a concept of what that could look like. So as you can see here, I've got the percentage in the upper right and I've moved things around, showing that there's definitely room, and maybe this isn't the best arrangement, but there's definitely room to add the percentage on devices with a notch. And so maybe not with a wider notch, but you could add it with the newer phones, or maybe just rearrange things, get rid of the icon indicating location being used, or have you have the option to select what you'd like to see, whether that be the time, or cellular, or Wi-Fi, location, percentage, and battery. So all of those things could be added or updated in future versions of iOS 16. We definitely have the room for it, and I know a lot of people would love to see that. The next thing people would love to see is interactive widgets, and you'll see I've drawn up some here. And currently with widgets, if we just go into the widget, tap on the widget for music, it brings us to the album we were currently playing, and that's not really helping many of us do much more than see what's actually playing. And so a widget that you could interact with would be much better, or to provide more information. So again, in the concept I've drawn up here, we would have the ability to maybe pause, or play, or go to the next track, or previous track, and even adjust something like volume, or see the timeline of what's being played. I don't know that volume is necessary, since we have the volume buttons right here, but something along those lines with more interactivity on the widgets I think would be welcomed by a lot of people. The same is true for weather. You'll see here we have sunset. It fits in nicely, it integrates, it looks good, and they could provide more information than just the temperature and high and low and maybe sunny. So something along those lines with some more customization makes a lot of sense for widgets, since widgets don't do a whole lot other than bring us into other applications that already exist. So I think a lot of people would love to see that. Something I hear all the time as well is people want to see split view brought to iPhone. This makes a lot of sense. We already have it on the iPad. 
why not bring it to the iPhone where it could look something like this? We definitely have room on these larger phones to do that. We've seen this on additional phones such as Android phones, and we could slide up and down, change the applications, watch YouTube while browsing the web, or maybe message someone in text messages, Telegram, or other apps while watching a video. I think that would be a much welcomed feature that Apple could bring to iOS 16 in the future. It's basically in the code of iPad OS. They just have to make everything fit. And someone did mention maybe bring in slide over as well, where you could have better multitasking and easily switch between apps. So I know a lot of people would really appreciate that if we had that ability of split view in this design, something else I would like to see redesigned as well as many of you would like to see redesigned is the control center. When Apple switched to this control center, it feels very out of place for Apple in my opinion, but it is very functional. And while it works, I think it's very unorganized and I would like a better way to be able to organize this or maybe just make it look a little bit different. When Apple introduced Control Center originally, and this is an iOS 9 device, if we slide up here, you'll see one of the old versions of the Control Center. And this is actually a version I much prefer over the new version, just because it seems a little bit better laid out to me. And you'll see that we have similar functionality. While I do like the full screen layout, of Control Center, I think a revamp to this or something that could be a little bit different might be welcome. So here's a design from Angelo Libero that I've talked about before, where maybe it could be more functional, a little bit more broken up just to organize it better or have maybe completely different functionality and a different look altogether. Either way, a lot of people want to see a Control Center redesign similar to this or something else. And also within Control Center, a lot of people want the ability to go back just like we could in this version of iOS, iOS 9, and turn on or turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth directly from Control Center. Not just disable it for 24 hours or disconnect it from certain things, but completely disable it or turn it on and off from this menu. Whether that would mean a 3D press or haptic press or just the ability to turn it on and off like that. I think many people would welcome that and definitely would want something like that back. So I would love to have that ability back. Hopefully we'll see something like that in the future where they bring that back. Now, something else that many people thought we'd see with iOS 16, including myself, based off of what others had said, is an always on display, at least on the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max phones, where it can bring down the actual refresh rate to a low enough amount that would save a lot of battery. We have something similar in the Apple Watch with that technology, and we've had it on Android phones for years, where it sort of goes to sleep and just gives you the time and the weather and other relevant information that you want on the lock screen while the display is off. It uses almost no power and doesn't cause burn in or anything like that on the display because it shifts the pixels around, but it's a really nice function to have and something a lot of people would welcome on iOS as well. So I definitely would like to see something like that or the option for it at least on newer devices, whether it be iPhone 13, iPhone 14 and beyond, or maybe just bring it back to any OLED display since you could do that in low power mode and just light up the pixels you need and not use all of the ones that are dark. So that makes a lot of sense. I'm surprised we don't have it already since Apple already does it on iPhone, but maybe it requires some sort of redesign. Now, as far as something I personally want to see, I've talked about for a long time has to do with battery health. Battery health is something that is important, but isn't so relevant that you should be thinking about it every day. Battery health is simply the measurement of the physical capability of the battery. Apple's estimating what percentage of it you have left over time batteries degrade. I've talked about that at length, but I don't like the percentage because a lot of people panic when it drops to 99% or 98 and they think updates are causing this issue. Something I would like to see changed is that sort of measurement. And I drew this up over a year or so ago and you'll see it says overall battery health normal. I want something like this where it says normal, then maybe decreased, Decreased battery health may result in less overall screen on time and overall cap capacity, but the iPhone should function as expected. And then when it's time to replace, please replace the battery. And then it would give you information that you need to get it replaced to restore the actual performance and overall screen on time. I would love to see something like this just so that it's less on your mind and you know that it's fine. Everything's fine. Batteries do that. And until someone invents a better battery, that's what we're stuck with. So it makes a lot of sense to me. 
that they would do something like that. I know not everybody likes that and would like the percentage option as well, but the percentage is not technically super accurate and that's why it changes a lot on a lot of people. Now, something else I would love to see is the ability to have an AirPods app, a dedicated AirPods app that would allow us to update the AirPods easily. Now, currently, if you're an AirPods user, they'll just update on their own when they're plugged in at some random point. However, when there's an update available, many of us want to see if it will fix problems we've had with it, or maybe some other issues, or just maybe get new features overall. And currently, there's no way to easily do that whether that be AirPods, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, AirPods 3, or MagSafe, or Beats. A dedicated app to tell us what's going on in those devices would be really welcome, and it could be an optional app, as some people don't really care about what the update is, but I think it makes a lot of sense to have some sort of utility for that, just as Apple is getting new, a new utility to do the exact same thing for their employees or for technicians. So I think it makes a lot of sense to have a dedicated app. Now there's a couple additional changes I wanted to talk about that quite a few people had some great ideas about. And one of them has to do with maybe a notification indicator at the top that would be color coded to maybe the app. So maybe you get an incoming app notification such as WhatsApp and maybe have a dot there similar to that of the microphone or camera when it's in use. So a notification comes in for WhatsApp, it's green. Facebook, it would be blue or maybe something else. Maybe we have a new podcast, it would match that color or something from Tesla, maybe it would be red. So along those lines, I think that's a great idea to have an optional indicator in the upper left or upper right, letting us know there's, there's notifications even if we're not going into our notifications regularly. I miss a lot of that because of things like that when I'm in Do Not Disturb, recording videos and things like that. So maybe an additional notification would be, would be welcome. Also, a couple people wanted to see system font changes be available here. So you can change fonts in different things, but not the overall system. So currently it's just set to whatever Apple chooses. They've decided what's best and many people want the ability to change it to something different that they prefer. So something like that would be welcome also. Another idea someone had that I thought was great is if you go into the camera, go to your video, maybe you start recording. When you're recording, you finish recording one thing, pause the video instead of stopping the video and creating another clip, and then go back and resume. I like that idea for an optional way to create additional content without having to go back and edit a bunch of clips together. Something I thought was a unique idea that would be worth doing. Also, many people want new wallpaper. Now, I think Apple wallpaper is hit or miss at best. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. As you can see on the iPhone 6 Plus that I have here, this is an original Apple wallpaper, and it was okay. It's not one of my favorites, and I typically don't use them very long. So as you know, I always share wallpapers in the description, just like I will with this one. And of course, I think many other creators make better wallpaper most of the time. Plus, people get sick of it and want to change it. However, I would like to see them give the option to change the wallpaper, whether that be with an unlock or throughout the day or daily, like we can on a Mac. So I would love that option built in. Now, on iPad OS 15, Apple gave us the ability to have widgets and things anywhere we want on the screen this time around. However, when you rotate to portrait mode, it just doesn't look right because the icons are spaced oddly. Maybe you have five rows across or something along those lines. Maybe they couldn't do it because of widgets, but even Either way, it looks a little odd when you're in portrait mode. So in landscape, it's normal. In portrait mode, it's not. Many people want the ability to fix this and arrange it so it looks normal. And of course, put your icons wherever you want. So those are the top things I would like to see and you would like to see based off of that YouTube question I posted on the community page. And of course, there's some other great ideas there as well, but those were just the top ideas that many of you had and things I wanted to see changed as well. My top ones would be split view, a redesigned control center, the battery health change, and maybe interactive widgets. But what are your top changes you would like to see? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description, like I said earlier. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.